All right, guys, it's me again, and you can see here, this is my kitchen table. Here are my hands. All right, my iPad is propped up on a basket here to kind of kind of dangling on the edge there, but I wanted to show you a couple um, ideas for uh, making your own journal. So this is just a big paper bag. You know, this I got from the grocery store, um, and I'm gonna use that to show you, but I'm also gonna show you what I made earlier and this is a little, a little journal. You can see it's pretty small. And I used a cereal box for this one. And then I just stapled the paper inside the cereal box. And then this is washi tape. Um, you don't have to have fancy washi tape to do this. Um, you really just need a cereal box. Here's the one that I used before. I'm gonna show you how to make one. Um, if you wanna make it bigger than that, you can. Uh, you could, instead of cutting out just one piece out of the cereal box like this. You could cut out more of it and kind of flatten it out, or you could use the whole um, side, and I'm gonna try to do that. So you're gonna need a cereal box that you've eaten the cereal, um, and then you're gonna need scissors. You might need some help cutting the box. If it's too hard to cut the box, like these are big adult scissors, so you're probably gonna want some help. Um, a ruler. And then check out, this is my super cool stapler that I have at my house. Isn't it cool? It's really cool because look, it's got tape here. It's got um, post-it note labels here. Ha! Isn't that neat? I got it for free somewhere at one of those home shows. See, it's Green Tea Services. So this is one of my cool staple staplers that I have at my house that I was going to use. And then you're going to need paper. Now... Uh, this is sketch paper, but it does not have to be sketch paper. Um, in fact, to do this one, I just used regular old computer paper. And if your parents don't want you to use their good computer paper, um, you could use recycled paper. So you could use paper that has some writing on one side, and then you can draw and write on the side that doesn't have anything on it. But um, So this would make a perfect little journal you could decorate the cover a little bit and then you could write inside I actually started uh, the other day on Saturday I was like I just have to write down what is happening because all of this just seemed weird and I like knew I was gonna want a record of of what was happening to me even um, I've done that other times like every time I go on vacation I usually write a journal and I just wanted to write down like what was happening and so I I wanted to write that down in a, in a little journal. So um, you're also going to want a pencil, which I forgot to grab. So let's see, I've got pencils over here. I don't know, I'm sharp and one. I'll use a pen, a pen or a pencil. Oh, I've also got a pen at my... And here's a pencil. I've got my art card over there that's got a bunch of stuff on it. So a couple supplies to help me make it. So I think what I'll do is I'm going to cut the box first so that it's flat. And then I'm going to measure out probably about, if you guys know, I really like to do art, but I don't really like to do crafts. It's kind of weird. I don't know, because I like the drawing and the painting part, I guess, of art, but I don't always like the making part of crafts, because there's a little bit different skills involved <laughs> when you do crafts. But um, I wanted to show you how to make one of these so that you would be able to make one at your home. And then I was going to also show you how you could do the same exact thing but with a paper bag. And I won't make like the whole paper bag one. Oh my goodness, I just told you to measure all this out and now I'm not. Alright, so if you don't if you don't measure it, you're not going to know how big to use your other paper. Well, I'm just going to cut this out and then I'm going to measure it. And it's not going to be super even, but it'll work for now. So as a sample. So I would advise measuring out first. Don't do what Miss Beth is doing. And mine is a little bit tricky. There we go. Definitely need a grown-up to cut it out for you, okay? All right, because I think it's gonna be too hard to cut that cardboard. All right, I wanna make sure you can see it. So there's the cardboard, and um, I'm gonna measure this so that I know about how big it is. I, this is the inches side of my ruler. Okay, the bigger ones are the inches. It's about seven inches by about nine. So that means I need paper. This is my paper. It's 
to be about seven by nine, maybe just a tiny bit smaller so that you don't have any, like see how this has paper sticking out a little bit? You don't want, if you don't want that, you should make it bigger or make it smaller than the paper. You could also just put down your box on your paper and then trace it and then cut what you traced. Um, and then you might want to have maybe a couple sheets of paper at least, because then when you fold it, you know you'd have like four sheets of paper. This doesn't have a lot. You might want more. Maybe you might want like three or four. My allergies are bothering me today a little bit. I didn't take allergy medicine yesterday. And so if I sound a little stuffy, that's why. I promise it's just allergies. Okay, um, I'm going to go ahead and trace it like I told you. My box is not even, but that's okay. It'll work. And if you had a really fun cereal, like, um, I don't know, that had like a character on the package, some of those sweet cereals like Captain Crunch or Trix or whatever, you could use that picture on your journal. This one, these are just Quaker oat squares. Like, I don't really want that picture for my journal. I'm just going to make, yeah, I'll just do... Maybe I'll just do a one-page journal just to show it to you so you have an idea. But again, you could use more than one page. So I just traced it, and then I'm cutting. And you guys should be able to do that tracing and cutting. You might just need a hand. Somebody help you hold down the paper, right? We were at school together. You guys could help each other. So you guys are awesome at helping each other. Alright, so I'm going to cut this. Apparently I can't talk and cut at the same time. I used to sing music with my kindergartners when I would cut. Alright, now this part, let's say you probably again are going to want more pieces of paper. In fact, let me just go ahead and do another piece real quick. And I'll do the same method of tracing it. So I'm just going to actually take this paper. I'm going to cheat a little bit here. I'm going to take this paper put it down. And again, like if yours is about seven by nine, you might, might, might oh, I'm sorry, you can't even see that. You might want to make your paper a little bit, cut it a little bit smaller, maybe measure it to be a little bit smaller. If you have a parent that really likes precision, then have them do this and then have them help you with it, I mean. They can help you with the measuring and stuff. You can see I'm not super concerned about the precision part of my crafts, which might be why I don't really like crafts. Okay, so we're going to go ahead and fold this. All right. Just like that. And this is going to be my cover. So again, if you want, if you had like a cool box with a cartoon character like Tony the Tiger or something on there, I just smoothed it down a little with my scissors to get it to fold better. You might want... Grown-up might want to help you with that part, too. Sorry, grown-up. There's a lot of helping. And then I'm going to fold my papers all together, just like that, right? And then I'm going to put them inside. You see how mine kind of stick out a little bit. That's fine. Mine is just a sample. You can work a little bit, a little bit on that. I could trim it if I want to. And I'm just going to go ahead and get my stapler. And I'm going to staple. I'm just going to staple it one time in the middle, as long as my folded papers are stuck all the way back into my book like that, I shouldn't need, I really shouldn't need to staple it more than once. And um, you don't want to staple too far in like this, right? Because then you won't be able to um, turn the pages. You're probably going to want to staple in a little bit like that so that they all stay, but not too far. So I'm going to go ahead and staple. Can you hear Zuzu? She must... She's barking at my dog, Hero. He went upstairs, and now she's barking at him. Now, my stapler, for some reason, does not like going through that back cover. Maybe this is too thick for it, you know? I told you it's a really cool stapler, but I did just get it free <laughs> at one of those home shows. So, maybe I might... That's what happened to this one. But I was thinking it could... It'll still work. Because this paper is not really going to go too far, as long as I'm careful. All right, so at this point, this is when you can decide if you want to, like, put a little bit of tape. If you don't have washi tape at home, if you have, like, blue painter's tape, or even if you have stickers, right, you can put that over here. You know, in England, they say cheers all the time. Like, you're at the store, and 
they're like, instead of saying thank you when you leave, you know, if you buy something, they'll be like, cheers. It's kind of fun. Okay, and then here, I'm going to put another, I put another piece on the back, just like that. And then you have your own little journal, okay? Um, let me show you how you could also do the same thing with a paper bag.